The SS Naramata is steeped in the history of the Okanagan Lake, and she may hit the water again, but that will be no easy task. And what is happening is that we need to, we need to pick her up, put her on the cradle, so we can inspect the hull, because the, the hull is starting to rust away. And if you don't do anything in 20 years' time, we'll just have a piece of rubble there, right? That's thanks in part to a $25,000 grant, which will fund a sort of feasibility study to see how much the project will actually cost. But this $25,000 will allow us to get some professional engineers to um, give us directions of how we're going to go about it and um, some proper engineering so we can then go to the apply for different grants. That's projected to cost anywhere from $100,000 to $250,000, but a local curator thinks that that's worth it for a piece of history that united the entire Okanagan Lake. The lake boats used to be the centre of pretty much everything in the valley. Um, it was before the motorways were built, so everything had to come in by, by boat, basically. Um, without, the, without the lake boats, there wouldn't have been um, settlements in, in the Okanagan, pretty much. For Castanet News, I'm Dustin Godfrey in Penticton. This is your main switch. Now it's the power is off.